morning students welcome to our lesson for today in this lesson we will draw graphs of linear equations by using table of values where y is given explicitly in terms of x we will be using the keywords equation table of values x coordinate and y coordinate by the end of this lesson you should be able to use these words confidently we will graph the following line using a table of values. Let the first column on our table represent x values and the second column represent y values. What we're going to do is to substitute the x value into the equation and solve for this corresponding y. Every pair of x and y that satisfies y equals negative 2x plus 5 is a point on the line. Let's select the values for x. Make sure that these values will be convenient. They should not give you decimal values. It only takes two points to draw a line, but we always use a third point to check. Now let's use the values into this x. Let's start with negative 2. So that would be negative 2 times negative 2 plus 5. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4 plus 5, that is 9. So when x is negative 2, y is 9. So that gives us the point negative 2, 9. Make sure that when you write your pairs, it should be in bracket. Next is negative 1. Negative 2 times negative 1 is 2 plus 5, that is 7. So negative 1, 7 is also a point on the line. Next is 0. That's negative 2 times 0 plus 5, and that is 5. So the point 0, 5 is also on the line. Next is 1. Negative 2 times 1 plus 5, that would be 3. So the line also have the point 1, 3. Next, 2. Negative 2 times 2 plus 5. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4 plus 5, 1. So we have also the point 2, 1. Now let's plot these points on our coordinate grid. Negative 2, 9. So from the origin, go left negative 2 and up 9. It's outside the grid. But remember, you can always extend your grid. 1, 7. Go to the left, negative 1, and up 7. 0, 5. It's on the y-axis. 1, 3. So from the origin, go to the right, 1, and up by 3. So that's the point. Then lastly, 2, 1. Go to the right, 2, and up by 1. Everything looks good in here because as you see, all the points line up to make a single line. So the graph of y equals negative 2x plus 5 is the line that passes through all these points. When drawing the line graph, put arrows on both ends to indicate that the line extends indefinitely to both directions. So this line is the graph of the equation y equals negative 2x plus 5. Use the graph to complete the table of values and give the equation of the line. So this is working backwards. We are given the graph and we have to find the numbers in our table and write the equation of the line. So let's start with the leftmost point. When x is negative 3, y is also negative 3. The next point, x equals negative 2, y is negative 1. The third point, when x is negative 1, y is positive 1. And when x is 0, y is 3. When x is 1, y is 5. And when x is 2, y is 7. And the last point at x equals 3, y is 9. Do you see a pattern of the y coordinates? Think about the pattern. You will see how is it increasing. Yes, the y coordinates are increasing by 2. So that means on our equation, we have the term 2x. Now we will add a number here, but what 
number should be odd. So let's look at the value of y when x is 0. So when x is 0, y is 3. So that means we add here a 3. So that means the equation of this line is y equals 2x plus 3. Which of the following lines contain the point 5, 17? Let us look at our choices. Definitely it's not C because the line is decreasing and at x equals 5, y coordinate is already negative because the line is below the x-axis. And if you see in our given point, the y coordinate should be positive 17. So cross out choice C. Let's look at choice A. The equation of the line is 2x plus 4. What we will do is to substitute the x value on this equation and find if we have the given y value. From our given point, 5, 17, the x is 5 and y is 17. So let us substitute 5 into the equation y equals 2x plus 4. So we will have y equals 2 times 5 plus 4. 2 times 5 is 10 plus 4. That's 14. It's not 17. So cross out choice A. We will be thinking that choice B is the correct answer. Let's verify. Let us substitute 5 into the equation y equals 3x plus 2. So we will have 3 times 5 plus 2. 3 times 5 is 15 plus 2. That's 17. Exactly the y value given in our point. So yes, option B is the correct answer. That means the line y equals 3x plus 2 contains the point 517. Do this exercise in a graph paper. Pause this video and come back when you are done to check your work. So what did you get? Do you have an interesting shape that was formed? So let's check. The first equation, y is equal to x. This equation tells us that y and x always have the same value. So when x is negative 2, y is negative 2. When x is negative 1, y is negative 1. When x is 0, y is 0. So let's plot these points. Negative 2, negative 2, negative 1, negative 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2. Connect them by a line and you have the graph of y equals x. If you see, this is the right diagonal of our grid. So it cuts the x and y plane into two equal parts. Let's look at the second equation, y equals negative x. This is telling us that y and x will always have opposite signs. So when x is negative 2, y is 2. When x is negative 1, y is 1. When x is 0, y is 0, and so on. So plot this point and connect them. We have the graph of y equals negative x. So if you see, this is the left diagonal of our grid. Next equation, y is equal to 3. This is telling us that y is always 3 for any value of x. So when x is negative 2, y is 3. When x is negative 1, y is still 3. When x is 0, still y is 3. So this will be the horizontal line that goes through 3 of y axis. And this is y equals 3. The next line, x is equal to 3. So this time, x is always 3 for any value of y. So when y, when y is negative 2, x is 3. When y is negative 1, x is still 3. So this will be the vertical line passing through 3 of the x-axis. So that's x equals 3. Equation E, y equals negative 3, is similar to equation C. Y is always negative 3 for any value of x. So this is the horizontal line passing through negative 3 of the y-axis. And the last equation is similar to D. X is always negative 3 for any value of y. So this is the vertical line passing through negative 3 of the x-axis. 
So, x is equal to negative 3. Then, color the triangles as required in the exercise. 